Hi, welcome to Spicy Beer Blog. This is Paul Crow here, the author of Spicy Beer Blog. And in this video, we're going to look at our, our latest post, which is a very cool zoom effect that you can add to the images on your blog or in your blog posts. I have a test blog here with the, the image effect that we are creating, and it's a really, really cool way to um, to basically have what we have here, which is a small image of a, a kind of a, a really in depth scene above a city, um, and you can't really see the detail of this image. So what we're doing is we're allowing you to hover your cursor over different parts of that image and see how it looks when you zoom in. And this is exactly what I mean. There you go. So as we move the cursor around, you see the cursor becomes crosshairs. And as we move it around, you can zoom right in on the different parts of the image. Now this is a really, really fantastic effect. If you have a photo blog, or just a blog in which you lose um, a lot of photos, you can you can choose which images are going to have this effect. Every every image on your blog doesn't have to have the effect, and it's quite easy to add to your blog, and it's actually perfect for Blogger. Now, um, this effect was created by CSS Globe, um, and what they did was they they created this in a way that you would have two different image URLs, um, one for the small image. And one for the zoomed image, but because on Blogger, when you upload a large image to your blog, it gets automatically resized to fit into your post. So because of that, um, you don't actually have to add the two separate URLs like you would if you were using a different blog platform or a blog or a, or a website. Um, so it actually becomes easier again. So even if you're an absolute beginner, you can add this very very cool zoom effect to your blog. Okay, so there's a couple of steps involved. First of all, we need to add the code to the template which will create the effect and then when we upload an image that we want to have to zoom we add what's called a class to that we just add a snippet of code to the image code and I'll show you exactly how all that's done and um, I'll try and go in depth as I can if you're an actual beginner you should be able to do it and uh, let's get to it so I have the steps um, that will be in the post here if you're watching this on YouTube or elsewhere you can see a, a link back in the description to come back to this post and see the code and what we're going to do is we're going to go through all these steps right now so you can see exactly how it's been done and we're going to add this to another test blog that I have set up right here okay I actually have a um, I've purposely left in a little mistake so I can show you how that mistake will be fixed to suit your your template but we'll get to that in a minute okay so let's go to the steps to, to add the CSS and the scripts so in your blogger dashboard click design then edit HTML we're adding it to this blog. Now I have the nav bar here, so I'll just click design nav bar. But you can click it on your in your blogger dashboard. And then I'll click the edit HTML. So that's the first part done. Step two, find the following piece of code in your blog's HTML. And I'll tell you to click control F for a search bar to help find the code. And we will do that. So we'd find this piece of code here. So let's copy it. Go back. I'm going to drag over my screen. And if I press Control and hold it, CTRL, and press F, we get the search bar. I'll then paste in the code we're looking for, and it jumps directly to that piece of code. So it makes it really easy to find. So there's the piece of code we're looking for. So, step three. Copy and paste the following code directly above the tag we just found, the closing skin tag. So if I scroll down, do you want to copy this? And paste it directly above above the code we just found which is here okay so that's that part done not too hard so far step four find the following piece of code in your blog's html once again we tell you to use the search bar so we're finding the closing head tag which is this let's go back and find that so once again I'm going to click control left to highlight our search bar control v and paste in the code I just copied which is here so we found that step five is copy and paste the following piece of code directly above the tag we just found so let's highlight and copy we need to paste it above this tag so let's make a little bit of space paste it in there now step six is save your template so that's the script and the CSS that's the code added to create uh, this effect so we have that done um, and now all we have to do is basically add a small class to the images that are going to have this effect so if I click for a new post so when you come in and you're writing your posts um, I would actually recommend just so you don't get 
kind of lost in the code if you especially if you're new to this um, just upload your image first that you're going to use that you're going to have to zoom on so let's go in and grab an image and I'm going to grab one of the default images on my, on my computer on the sample, sample pictures because they're quite big and then they will be resized and they work perfect for the zoom so let's grab this lighthouse image here now when you are in your post editor there's two modes there's two tabs in the right top right hand side there's the compose tab and the edit html tab and basically most of you I'm sure use the compose tab let's add that image in there really quick you can see it being resized there it goes so it's being resized down quite small so you have the compose tab here and the edit html tab here now in the compose tab you can obviously see the image but we need to click click edit html which will show you the code that's making up your image which is all this code and what we need to actually add to the image code is really really simple and straightforward um, you will have the, the div at the top of it and if you're uploading directly to blog which is perfect for this this is how, how your code will, look, code will look you'll have your div going across and then the next line you'll have a href equals an url and what we want to do is between the a and the href simply add class equals zoom like that just like that class equals zoom and that's it that's all we have to add you can go back then write the rest of your post do whatever else you're doing and when you publish your post your image will have to zoom so I'm going to click view post here now as I said at the start of the video I purposely left an error in here on the template which I have the demo on um, the, the template design is slightly different than the template design on, on this test blog so if you look at this test blog this one they're two different templates and so the position of the image is slightly different so when I hover over this image you can see that the, the zoom the zoom effect the zoom placeholder the box with the zoom is kind of overlapping the side of the image and the reason for this is the placement of the, the box at the side and what I have done is I've set it in the code that I give you in the post to 50 percent and all you have to do is make that larger or smaller to suit your template or the way your blog is so if it's coming in too far over the left all you do is pump that up to 55 and to do that if I just really quickly go back in I'll explain this in the post as well so I'll have it highlight so it won't take you too long to figure it out but I just click the design and edit HTML again and find that the code the CSS code we just added here you can see top 35 left 50% all I'm going to do is just increase that to 55%, save the template, and you can play around with 55 doesn't work, change it to 60 and so on. You can play around with it until you figure out exactly how it best works with your template. I mean if you had a left sidebar it would be a totally different kind of setup again. So let's see when I increased it to 55, and there you go, that's much better. And there you go. That's your, that's a really really great effect for for a zoom on your images. Um, if you have any problems with this, you can of course drop a comment, and I would be more than happy to help. But that's a very cool zoom effect for images. Thanks for watching.